Hello, welcome to operations management. In this lecture, I will try to solve a problem on bill of materials. Here is the question. Use the information in the figure below to do the following. Uh, determine the quantities of B, C, D, E and F needed to assemble one unit of A. Uh, so if you see this uh, diagram, uh, we have uh, product A, which is mm, at level 0. So this is level 0. This is level 1. This is level 2. And then this is uh, finally level so we are trying to determine the quantity of B, C, D, E, F. So components for one unit of A. So this is what we are trying to determine. So if you look at the problem, to manufacture one unit of A, we require two units of B. To manufacture one unit of A, we require one unit of C. So now, to manufacture one unit of B, one unit of B, we require three units of D. So that is what it is trying to say. So it is always related to the uh, to the component above it. So if you see, so I need three Ds. So one B to manufacture, I need three Ds. That is what this relationship is saying so I require now two B's so that would be three times two that would be six D's I will require so similarly if you see this relationship here uh, one D I would require four E's so I need six D's so this will be 6 multiplied by 4, that is 24 E's I would require. So similarly, if you see this relationship here uh, between uh, B and E, 1 B, I would require 1 E. Since I need 2 B's, I would require 2 E's. Same here, 1 C, I would require 1 E, this relationship. So I, re, I need 1 C, so I would need 1 E here. How about here, this relationship, 1 C is equal to 2 F's, I require. So since I need 1, this will be 2. So if you see our answers would be these. So one B, so the components B is to manufacture one unit of A, I would require two B's and then C's. So I would require one C. How many D's I require? I require six D's. How many E's? I require 24 on this leg plus 2 on this leg and then 1 on this leg that is 27 E's I will require. How about F? I require 2 F's. So this is how uh, you will be solving um, problems on um, bill of material. I will try to solve another problem in this. We will see how it looks when we have inventory on hand. So again, I am trying to determine 
here it's asking me to determine assembly uh, how many your components are required to assemble 10 A's so we, we have on hand inventory which is B has 4 on hand C has 10 D has 8 and E has 60 again I will try to draw a table so components for 10 A's so B C D E and then finally F so in such problems the first thing is I will try to put on hand inventory in the on the diagram so I have four on hand so that means I will put minus four here and then uh, C I have 10 on hand so I will put minus 10 D I have 8 that means minus 8 E I have 60 I will put minus 60 here so if you see we have E here E here you can put minus 60 there also but I see there are a um, lot more components here so subtracting becomes easy for me that's why I put um, minus 60 there so we are trying to manufacture we have a demand for 10 uh, units of A so I will use 10 so if we have 10 A's that means how many B's we require 10 times 2 that is 20 B's we will require uh, however we have 4 in hand so this will become 16 so 16 B's we require how about C A we need 10 so the relationship between these two is 1A is equal to 1C. So that means to manufacture one, uh, 10 A's, we will, we will have 10 C's. So we need 10 C's. However, we, ten, we have 10 on hand, so that is 0. How about this? So to manufacture 1B, we need 3Ds. So we need 16Bs. So that would be uh, 3 multiplied by 16Ds. So we will require 48Ds uh, here. So this is 48. So However, we have 8 in hand, so this will be 40. So the number of Ds I would require here is 40. How about E? So the relationship, this relationship I will write here, 1D I would require 4 Es. I need 40 Ds, so 40 Ds would be uh, 4 times 40, which is... 160 E's so if I require 160 E's 160 minus 60 is 100 E's I would require here how about this 1 B I will require 1 E so I need 16 B's so I will I will get 16 E's so this is 16 how about this my relationship here is 1B 1C should be equal to 1E so if I need 1C I have to have 1E so I need 0C so that means I will require 0E so this is 0 similarly here if you see 1C I require 2F so I need 0 C so that will be 0 F so that's uh, those are our answers so this is 116 0 so if I wanted to manufacture 10 A's I would require 16 B's how many C's 0 C 
D I would require 40 E I will require 100 plus 16 plus this is 0 so this will be 116 F I require 0 so this uh, concludes my lecture on uh, bill of materials thank you